Okay, uh, hello everyone. I'm one of the TAs for the Introduction to Data Science class here at Cal Poly. And I'm just making this video because it seems that there's a little bit of confusion around uh, calculating the true positives, false positives, true negatives, and false negatives for uh, k-means clustering, right? And so I'm gonna go over this example and uh, hopefully this will kind of uh, get us a little bit more clear with how to calculate these values, right? So. Uh, I just want to start by kind of uh, explaining what this diagram means, essentially. So what we have down here, as we can see, is there's, there's this key of like what we classify, and this is actual value. So um, let's say we have a bunch of points, right? And the points are of some colors, uh, red, green, and blue. And we want our algorithm to basically cluster the points into uh, three possible clusters, uh, one for each color. So we're doing k equals three for this k means clustering. And uh, yeah, so there's three colors. Obviously, we're gonna want, we want three clusters. That makes logical sense to us. And so uh, these points are just kind of like arbitrarily uh, clustered just for the purposes of this example. And um, so they have, so the color here is, uh, we, we have this table that corresponds to this kind of diagram here. And what the color correlates to is the actual value where a uh, red is zero, green is one, and blue is two. So uh, this, this table, uh, each row in here is one of these points, okay? And this actual value is the color of the point, what the color, what the point, you know, it's, its real value is. So this is uh, the first point is zero because it's red. Second point is zero because it's red. Third point is one because it's green and so on and so forth. And next we have, uh, uh, you see I've drawn these, uh, these circles around these points. So this is what we're going to assume what our algorithm has decided for its clusters of these points okay so what that means is um for this first point we see that our, our algorithm has placed it into this zeroth cluster so we can see here that this predicted value which is from our algorithm is zero for the second point uh, we can see here that it's also clustered in the zeroth one so it has a zero. Third point also has zero because it's in the zeroth cluster um this blue point right here uh, which is the number two here, that's clustered into the zero, one, two second cluster. So that's right there as well in the table. So now that we know, uh, so, so in essence, in, in, in practice, this column is going to be what the, the data that you get, the data that you collect uh, for these points, this column is what that's going to be, the original data. And this column is going to be what our algorithm predicts for this data to be, right? Uh, for what cluster it predicts this to be. So let's now talk about uh, the positives and the negatives, right? So intuitively, your first instinct is probably gonna be, oh, there's three clusters, right? And so a true positive is gonna be, oh, well, if it's a red point in the red cluster, that's a true positive. And although this makes sense intuitively, in practice, this isn't really quite correct. And we'll kind of figure out that these labels that we put on these clusters are actually really arbitrary. You can't guarantee that k-means clustering will give you the, the labels you want on the clusters that you want. Uh, so for example, the goal of k-means clustering, it's, it is most accurate when you can say like, okay, um, I have one cluster, for all, co all red colors, one cluster for all green colors and one cluster for all blue colors, right? That is the most like theoretically ideal k-means clustering we can get, uh, which is like very difficult, but yeah. So that's how it goes. And so really what defines how accurate the algorithm is, is not like if the cluster is in the right colored cluster, it's how many other points are clustered with it. So you would agree that if we had one cluster of all red points and only red points exist in this cluster, that's a really, really good clustering because reds are clustered with reds and they are not clustered with greens and they're not clustered with blues. So I'll get into that in a bit. So when we're talking about true positives, kind of don't pay attention to this label. Don't pay attention to like what, what you want the cluster to be. Just pay attention to what's inside the cluster, like these two points. So for example, Let's, uh, let's start with uh, th this first point right here. So for this point, when we calculate positives, we want to look at all the other points inside the cluster, right? Because a true positive is 
our algorithm, when our algorithm says, hey, I want this point. Okay, so for, for example, this point, uh, we'll say this point and this point. We'll look at these two points for now. Our algorithm says, hey, these points should be together, okay? And that's represented here by this, the data in this table, point one and point two, which is row one and row two. Uh, these should be, these have been clustered as zero by our algorithm. And how do we verify that this is correct? We verify this is correct by checking the actual values or the colors of these points, right? So we look back at a table and we see that they both have an actual value of zero. So in essence, our algorithm says, hey, these points belong in the same cluster. And then we check what their colors are and we see, oh, they're both red. They're both the same color. So that is a true positive because our algorithm has correctly clustered two points together. Notice, however, in this quote unquote green cluster, there's also a set of two red points, right? And a lot of people, when, when they're doing, they we're trying to do uh, true positives and stuff, they think this is not a true positive. They think neither of these points are true positives. But in reality, the algorithm has put these two red points together in the same cluster. So although we may assign an arbitrarily wrong label of green to this cluster, in reality, the algorithm is correct. It put these two points together and these points should be together because as we can see, our, our algorithm put them in the first cluster and they're both zero, they're both red. So they should be together, which is correct. So this is the notion of a true positive. It's not about which cluster it belongs to, it's about its relationship to other points in its cluster, right? Let me say it again. True positives and, and all this stuff is not about which cluster a point belongs to, but its relationship with other points in the same cluster. That is what defines a true positive. And inversely, that's also what defines a false positive. Because if we take this example here, right? This red, our algorithm has put this red and this green into the same cluster, right? Therefore, um, this first point, zero, zero, and this uh, third point, one, zero. Uh, our algorithm has said they both belong in cluster zero. And we say, okay, well, we're gonna check how correct this algorithm is. We check their actual values. It's zero and one, AKA red and green. And we know that red and green do not belong in the same cluster. So although our algorithm is saying, is giving us a positive, our algorithm is saying, yeah, put them together. We know they should not be together. And that makes this a false positive because it's positive when it shouldn't be. They do not belong together. They belong in separate clusters, okay? So um, hopefully that makes some sense with, uh, with true positives and uh, uh, false positives. So just for uh, uh, like purposes of practice, let's count them up. So true positives, these two belong together. They're in the same cluster. And um, yeah, these are in the same cluster and they're the actual value, that's true positive. This is not a true positive. This is not a true positive. Uh, and then this is a true positive because they've been clustered together and they really do belong together. This is not, and this is not. Then we go here. This is a true positive because these are in the same cluster according to our algorithm and they do belong together. They're both green. Uh, this is not, this is not, this is not. No combination of green and blue should ever be true positives. But this is a true positive and this is a true positive and this is a true positive as well. So each of these points are in a cluster with another point and they really should be in that cluster with that point, okay? That, that, that was kind of weird, sorry about that. Um, but, but yeah, so if we count the total number of true positives now we have one, two, three, four, five, six true positives. So now let's choose a different color and let's count the amount of uh, false positives now because we know that there's false positives. For example, these two, our algorithm put them together. K means clustering, put them together. They should not be together and we know that. So this, this is a false positive. Likewise with this, this is also a false positive because this is a green and a red should not be together. Uh, here again, we have another false positive and another false positive, just like the first example. And then we have this green with this blue. These should not be together in the same cluster, but our algorithm has put them in the same cluster. These should not be together. These should not be together. 
these should not be together, these should not be together, and these should not be together. So all of these are false positives, meaning our algorithm has put them together when we know that they should not be together. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten false positives. Okay. So hopefully you kind of understand the notion of positives now. Uh, positives mean within the cluster. So if an algorithm puts them puts points within the cluster, it's giving us a positive. And whether they should really be in the cluster or not defines a true positive and a false positive. And uh, again, we check this is our algorithms cluster values, and this is the actual values. And that is how we verify this, right? So let's go ahead and erase these now. 